morning, everyone. Actually, well, depending when you see this, it could be morning, evening, or night. But I'm Richard from A Man About Style. I'm here with my good friend Endurance from. Hey, this is Endurance from the Curator of Cool. And we're here to talk about etiquette. This is for the YPOS Dapper as F party. And uh, one thing in Seattle is we kind of lack etiquette sometimes, but we're here to help you out. What are your kind of your keys and thoughts about Seattle? Um, Seattle's very nonchalant, very passive sometimes, so I think the fact that we're giving a list for people, just some do's and don'ts, will help them survive in any situation. So, I mean, I think it's useful information that the people need. And besides, you gotta give the people what they want. Hey, always, let's get into it. Topic number one, we're probably gonna talk about with the art of storytelling. Okay. All right, so my thing is, when I go to parties, everybody asks the same questions. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Where are you from? Um, Mix it up. Because, obviously, that makes you interesting. Right. So, what are your thoughts about that? Honestly, I think it's like what you said. Everybody asks the same basic questions. You know, who do you know here? How long have you been in Seattle? Blah, 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 blah. So, I think, honestly, my thought is, whenever you walk into a party or even just a setting, there's a good possibility you're never going to meet these people again. Okay. So, always leave a lasting impression that makes that makes people think otherwise, and they'll remember you from there. Mm, good point. My, one of my favorite questions in speaking to people that I don't know uh-huh. is, what's your story? Mm. And the reason is because we kind of have our defenses up as far as yeah. networking 101. It's like, all right, the same thing, same three questions you always get. Mm-hmm. If you ask somebody, what's your story? It's a very open-ended question. You can talk about anything that really comes to your mind. You're going to get a more genuine connection okay. um, with a person. You have any go-to questions? Um, honestly, a lot of my go-to questions are normally centered around what their passion is. So, you know, as long as we skip the pleasantries of, hey, what's, you know, what's your Instagram? What are you doing in here? I think the biggest thing is to find out, you know, the true heart of a person. You know, what are they passionate about? What drives them? We're not asking for, you know, interview questions or some SAT questions for a job. We're just saying, what makes you tick? What makes you think? You know, what mm. makes you get out of bed? What is that hobby or thing that obviously you can't go without? I mean, for us, we're dapper gentlemen. That's right. You know, going to this event. So that's going to be a conversation we're going to talk about. A lot of what are we wearing and why did we put these combinations together? Service is a great question. Boom. And speaking of, obviously, what are we wearing? Let's uh, <laughs> kick it to number two. <laughs> All right. Everybody knows the famous quote from Tom Ford. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking good is a form of good manners. True. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on wearing and being, of course, the party's name, Dapper as F? Mm-hmm. So, I always like to think of a phrase, respect your dapper. Okay. You know, and that basically just lies off the premise that um, sometimes the elegance is in the simplicity. You know, there's no such thing as being overdressed. I mean, for real. People could look at us today and be like, why are you guys wearing that? For us, it's a simple concept. It's a simple idea. And we just happen to put it together. So with that, I just like to think whatever works for you, just keep it as simple as possible. Don't try to add on too many pieces to fit some other narrative or look like somebody else. Be your own person and you're good. Okay. So basically your thought is that if you dress well, Mm -hmm. you're going to have more confidence. Everybody kind of knows that. Of course. This is general knowledge. Um, But you want that perception. It's also a talking piece. I've countless people I've mm-hmm. run into. Um, I was actually at a dapper party. Right. I was wearing some plaid pants. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I met some great people just because, like, hey, you're wearing plaid. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a conversation started. Okay. So don't be afraid to go in your closets, gentlemen, mm-hmm. and, you know, find something besides that blue <laughs> suit that you got for your interview. You know, True. mix it up. Or that or, white shirt. Exactly. And that's the biggest thing. Like, people forget whenever you walk into work or even a general setting, your clothes give that first reputation or perspective about you. So it's like, if we're to walk in here with whatever we're wearing, they're going to think, okay, these guys are professional. They're obviously stylish as F, of course. But they're also going to think they put in time and effort into what they're wearing. You know, their clothes are probably ironed. They're, uh, they have some, a good pair of jeans on with some dope shoes, loafers, brogues, whatever, whatever. But the thing is, whatever you're wearing is best going to describe you before you even say a word. Mm. So you, like you said, your clothes are probably gonna do the talking even before you get some words out. So I think that's, that's a good thing to know in case you're trying to figure out how should I dress. Just come out and be you. Let your clothes do the talking. Hey, 
I like that. <laughs> and since obviously I'm a big fan, throw on some color. Cardigan season. It is. Mm. It is the fall season, and you know we want to stand out. Boom. Well, all right. So what about manners? Because obviously, whenever you go out, mm-hmm. it's kind of this wild west. <laughs> To say, because, you know, we all have that one friend who's kind of a little socially awkward, maybe yeah. comes off a little creepy. Mm-hmm. How do we help that band? So, for my guys, um, whether you're by yourself or even with a friend, always try to get rid of that awkwardness out of the room. You know, I know a lot of times when I'm even with, you know, a good friend of mine, my homie right here, or if I'm with a, a good lady, I never... I may forget to introduce them, and that's a that's a don't right there. Right. You know, even if you don't meet people, take time to acknowledge the person. If it's a woman, she took time to get dressed and look just as good as you are. So you gotta acknowledge her beauty first thing. Amen. And make sure the world knows that. And two, even if it's even if it's a new place, you still wanna come into there with your confidence. You just don't wanna be a fly on the wall or a stand of attention. Try to have that good balance so that you understand the people around you are just as awkward and just just air that out. Stop being the elephant in the room. Like I said, you're never going to meet these people again, maybe. So why not just go ahead and put your truest and best self forward and introduce yourself? Hey, I am a big proponent of that for sure. Um, Because when you forget, I always do names first. Right. And even if you want to exit a conversation, Mm. this is a great way to learn that. One, if you know the people, you can always pull somebody in that you don't know right. and introduce them to the group okay. and then you can bow out. Uh, a lot of people when they are in social settings don't know how to end the conversation <laughs> <That laughs> and it just kind of turns into, well, uh, I'm going to go grab a drink or, you know, ladies will always hit you with the, hey, I got to go run to the bathroom <laughs> real quick. We've all know they're probably not coming back. Right. But, you know, you can exit a conversation mm-hmm. with tact and style in a, you know a manner just by introducing people to people that they don't know, Facts. and you can you know kind of ghost your way out. Okay. Um, what do you got for the next topic here, etiquette? Um, really on etiquette, I think the base. I mean, we've literally covered the clothes, so I think it's always give that reference. Like I said, representation of your truest self. Um, we've already covered you know kind of style a little bit, putting things together. Okay. So I think the only thing that I would lastly just talk about is just you know, how to function. All right. Um, you know, the biggest thing out there is always going to be that dance floor. Oh. You know, and so when the music comes on, it may be some hip-hop, it may be some salsa, it may be whatever, whatever. So you have to be able to maneuver through different songs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm going to get down, I'm not going to, you know, try to bust a move too hard that I sweat through my outfit. Okay. You know, so guys, I mean, actually, people in general, biggest tip, when you get on the dance floor, everybody's thinking the same thing as you. And what I mean by that is everybody's thinking, how do I dance to this? Just do you. But don't be out of control or reckless. Have that solid two-step, okay? As Will Smith said, you're right here, okay? Hey. As long as you keep it here with the shoulders, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Now, if you want to add some style to that, cool. Wait for the breakdown. But the way you entertain folks is just getting people into that song more, have them follow that two-step, and that's why you know we always love the Cupid Shuffle or the Electric Slide, because it's interactive. Everybody can join in. Okay. So if you start that up, you're good. So should I be pulling other people in? Like, how do I Well, so, so this is the thing. Like, me and you, right? We're gonna walk into a party, and we're gonna have fun. If a music comes on that we like, I'm not saying I won't care, but I could care less what y'all think. I'm going to come in there and bust a move with my two-step. Mm. Now, if you see that, of course, Rich is going to get down and bust a move. I'm going to hype that up. We're going to hype each other up. So you guys are going to feed off that because you're going to say, I want that energy. So we're going to pull you guys in because, hey, you might already be on the dance floor chopping it up, and you're not getting that enthusiasm. Oh, we'll be there. Like, hey, get it, you know, and, and things like that. Or we may, you know, say, hey, I like what you're doing, different things. So... That's the way I include people. It's not about awkwardness. You know, it's just about if you only have four dance moves and you use them all, okay, just recycle it for the next song. But I'm still going to give you props on whatever dance move you just busted out. So should I be doing back bends as soon as I hit the dance floor? Or, like, should I let the DJ kind of tell me and dictate the mood? So 
the way I think about it, the DJ's your best wingman. Okay. Right? So your DJ's basically going to let you know ahead of time what song's coming. There may be a slow song, and there may be a girl that you barely just met. Um, if you're feeling, you know, that you want to get to know her and take things to the next level, a.k.a. meaning you want to see Ain't if she Ain't nothing can, wrong? Right. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's too early. That's okay. too early. Like, la- like last call? Okay. Last call, that's good. But the DJ's not going to play anything bumping grind worthy <laughs> for a thousand people unless it's that type of, you know, environment. Like, I can understand if there's some Migos in there. Okay. If there's a little bit of Usher and R. Kelly, but that won't be, like, unless it's a a formal dance. All right. You know, where you got to come close. Make sure you leave space for Jesus, though. Hey, That's Bible the, space. Hey. Major key. Major key right there. That's always important. If you don't know her. Bible space. Exactly. You can't come too hot to let women these days, man. Let them be. If they want to dance with you, they're going to dance with you. If not, stick to your guns and play that solid two-step like a professional, okay? Hey. I mean, that sounds like some you know, great tips. What are your last thoughts? You kind of want to add anything? Um, honestly, this is going to be a great uh, end of summer party. So my first thing is if you haven't planned your outfits at all, do it now. Don't think about it way too much, but just... Come up with a certain style, whatever works for you. As you can tell, Richard loves plaid, you know, so I'd watch out for this guy because he's going to shock and awe you like usual. Me, I'm going to come with something slight, a lot, some contemporary, but still coming in flaring with uh, colors. But honestly, the biggest thing I can say is have fun. Have fun at these events. Don't worry about your perception. Um, if you spend time worrying about what people think about you, you're going to be that person in the corner sipping on juice or water or whatever on your phone not really having a good time um just come as you are and just remember that this is for enjoyment uh people you're gonna meet new people people are gonna like you people aren't gonna so if you're good with that you'll have a good night regardless all right everybody i hope you enjoyed our party etiquette tips make sure to go follow the a man about style and i mean honestly just come here have a good time Make sure you check them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, whatever. Shout them out, plug them out, whatever. But be ready for this event. It's going to be so live, dapper as F, of course. But, you know, just come here looking to have a great time, meet great people, and obviously be you. Stay tuned for video, too.